Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Damrio. Welcome to Guild Wars 2. Today we're gonna be continuing the main mission, Prized Possession. We gotta check in with survivors at the priory camp in this new area. We finally move along to Tarnished Treetop. And I believe the next area we're gonna be is the Ulrich Basin, possibly, and then... Not sure where we go from there, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how big this maybe we'll go up up over here I don't know this is the main map over here the canopy over ordinance and then eventually or the burden brink and then I, I guess now this is considered the auric basin and maybe I guess the other areas the love areas up here and down here are also part of the map I don't know I still got so much more of the map to discover and I covered me I just scratched the surface let's go and continue with the mission talk to lieutenant Francis and see where we need it lieutenant Francis are you in charge here? No, Commander. Found these Priory folks on my way out of the wreckage. Sierra and Piera are calling the shots here. We are what's left of a Priory led ship to crash Come nearby. We fought Both side of our by people side are already headed east. east. You're better than that. Those that couldn't get on Thanks. You're a Sierra good friend. Sierra here found me half dead under a tree. Thank you. Patched me up good as new. Well, if you did turn. Over my life. Don't worry. I'm a I'd combat medic. It's my job to keep people alive on the battlefield. Of course. The other what Priory the members. You said they headed east? That's right, spotted some ancient looking golden structures and, well, you know us Priory folk and old shiny things. They started lighting up just now, right after some Silvari woman with a backpack ran through. I wish I Wait, could have saved a Silvari with a backpack? Saved who? What direction was she headed in? A re east, like the rest. Uh -huh. You know this Silvari? It's a long story. So many, co so much conversation happening all at the same time. It's really difficult to follow. Okay, follow up the information. Well, uh, that has led you to Auric Basin. Gotta go down the road over here and check it out. Let's go do that right now. See this jungle. It looks like this jungle is more of like a, a nice warmer looking jungle for sure. The first one looked a little more infected in a way. But this is nice. Not bad. I kind of like it. It's sort of welcoming in a, in a very strange way. And now the biome changes to become, you know, a lot more greener. I like that. <laughs> and nothing is attacking me right as I enter, which is very lovely. It's already welcoming. It's a little more welcoming than the first one. It's like, oh, dinosaurs. Plant dinosaurs attacking all, all over the place. The mine's blocking the south gate of Tyrell. What does it say? Uh, combat? No, it's not combat. Does it mean? I don't know. Something's blocking our way, so I guess we have to get that later. There we go. Let's begin this. The prize possessions. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. In last episode, we saw uh, Bram. Uh, what he pretty much saw his mother get injured and killed in combat against the giant behemoth. So he is still in mourning, and we're gonna be continuing exploration throughout the jungle. Do you think Kafe is here? I mean to find out. Glint's egg is my responsibility, and Kafe stole it out from under me. The pale tree's vision showed me how important the egg could be. I'm not leaving it in anyone else's hands. Move out! Alright, everybody, follow me. We got Timey, we got Casimir, we got Ridlock, and Marjorie, and Kanak. Kanak, please do not, please, pull out God, do not join the Mortimer side. I Hello. need you to be at our Hello. side. Hello. Huh. He Teleported. Well, obviously. I guess we got some weird beings here that don't like us maybe or try to hide from us they're, they're just being coy they're like oh new new adventurers we'll just you know we'll hide away for a little bit <laughs> i don't know apparently i'm i'm already labeling the new creatures that we're gonna find here just being coy and shy <laughs> they're probably very monstrous and just want to kill everything and they're just hiding away right now pack priory oh there we go oh, okay never mind they are taking some damage they're taking some hits Let's go in, uh, let's, let's start with these sniper guys first. Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, wrong place. Okay, dodge that. Let's go hide real quick. And attack this guy first. Okay, wonderful. Let's get the other power repeat. Let's get the other power of folk after we res you over here. Okay, we got some power of folk on this side as well. There they are. Hello there, and we got also a Mordrum Grunt. Oh god, oh, 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 not what I want to do, oh god. I did not mean to get hit. I did not mean to target you, I mean to target the ground. I should probably turn off the snap targeting if I'm not going to be using the camera. Because the action camera is better for melee, I'm not currently playing as a melee character right now. Let's see, do we got one more? Oh yeah, we got the, uh, the guard cavalier here, trying to do some damage. 
Situation update. Immediately. Commander, we've made camp down the hill, near the big spire. We discovered that the spires provide some security, and we let our guard down. We were too focused on these strange runes. They're connected to the spires, but we can't decipher them. Kaz, Jory, get these people safely back to their camp. Everyone else, with me. We've got it covered. Sounds good. Uh, snap, 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 ground target. There, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna turn it off for now. So I can kind of, you know, coordinate it when I need it to be at. For melee character, the action camera is perfect. But if you're going to be playing a range build with condition damage, I'd rather just be able to target. Oh, there's the Rook of the Wanderer. Oh, being coy again. And we got some Rolling Devils. Well then. And a Mordrum Bristle back. Oh, okay. Oh, wrong ability. Not me to do that. Let's get the Rolling Devils over here. Okay, and also we should get some of the snipers here. Where are the snipers at? Oh, snipers targeting me. There you are. Hello, friend. I see you just hiding around here trying to be coy and stuff. Just trying to be <laughs> hiding around. Snipers do a ridiculous amount of damage. I feel like they might need to be nerfed a little bit. Either that or I'm just terrible at dodging their abilities or something. <laughs> Gonna LOS the big turtle over there. Gonna go ahead and do this. Oh god, hello there, friend. Oh, he really likes us, doesn't he? <laughs> okay, then. We might, um, we might want to get away from him. Switch all weapons. There we go. Let's do this here. And summon a phantasm. There we go. What if it's staying close enough? We'll get some buffs from it. Oh, well, nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's do this right here. Up. Oh, use a shield as well. And let's go and do this. And switch over to the the focus real quick. Get ow, getting hit there. Ow, 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 ow. That kind of hurts. <laughs> it hurts a little bit. There we go, there we go, there we go. Thanks for the save, Commander. We were all happy to help. Now tell me, who's that glowy person we saw before the attack? I have no idea. It never gets too close. It looks connected to the spires. The ones that reacted to Cave. Let's find out what it's up to. Also, tell me everything about these golden structures and... Uh, hey! Uh, okay, then. Let's go. We will. Tammy, don't worry. We'll come back and, you know, discover more about this stuff. Whoa, we got some weird structure here as well. Uh, I wouldn't force so strongly on rushing the story. You don't need to rush it. Uh, so no, I'm actually not rushing it. I'm just having fun with the story so far. <laughs> okay, what do we got over here? We got some construction contraptions. Stop. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. Uh, Brimstone, you okay? <laughs> You're just roaring like crazy. Okay, let's chase our new friend. Approach the unusual being. I'm gonna go ahead and... Identify yourself. Oh, there he is. I'm in the midst of an important mission. I must follow the trail before it goes cold. What is your mission? Who do you serve? I am Ruka, the Wanderer of the Exalted. We are charged with preserving life from the predations of Elder Dragons. Then we share a common goal and a common enemy. I'm the commander of the Pact, here to wage war against Mordromoth. Good. As for my mission, I'm tracking an... object. These devices respond to Glint's legacy, which means... Hey, and the egg. It must be. Did you say egg? After all these years. I must go, quickly. I might need help. You may accompany me if you wish. I should stay here for a while and get these people organized. They need me. Besides, we should learn as much as we can about these magical defensive pillars. Good idea. We'll be back as soon as we can. Alright, counting on you, Timey. Alright, Ruka, lead the way, buddy. Lead the way, bud. We got Casper on our team. I actually have no idea what creature, what type of creature he really is. I should find. I should like look up an online beast theory out there to like. Well, I guess I'll kind of apply with ethereal humanoids, but some kind of a glossary of what he is. It's Kate, and is that your egg she's carrying? You've done well, Kate. Fowlin. Bring the egg to me. What? The the egg. The egg is my wild hunt, and I can only trust myself with it. 
We can all trust Mordmoth. Fowlin? No! I need the egg! What the? Get the egg and run! She turned into Savara Behemoth. Holy crap, pick up Glint's egg. All right, that egg is mine. Come here, egg. Come with me. My safekeeping. What's Can I take happening? it? Me. Worry about that Get out of here. Oh, what is this? Use the power to light and search forward? Okay, gotcha. All right, come on, friend. Go spout, you're coming with me. Oh, I'm following you. <laughs> All right, so, you oh god, I think that thing is gonna chase us now. Hoo hoo. What do we got here? We got number two ability. Use the power of light to surge towards damaging nearby foes. Stop moving at a speed of light. Uh, what do we do? Do I talk to you? I'm waiting for you, bud. Maybe I surge through this. Oh, okay, that's what I do. We pass uh, the power of wardrobe. Oh, okay. So that's what I do with the egg. Power of wind to lift yourself high in the air. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. That's actually kind of sweet. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually pretty. <laughs> I didn't even to fight anything. What I do? Use the power of air to pounce across great distances. All right, that's kind of cool, actually. This is actually pretty sweet. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Guess I go up here. Yes, I do. Let's go travel up here. There we go. Nice. Oh god. Oh nope. We fell down. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Go and fly up like this. Oh god, we're gonna slip away again. Up and at him. Heal up real quick. And up and at him again. And uh, I believe we could just travel like this. There we go, that'll work. Okay. We took less damage this time around. Uh, let's uh, use the power of going up again. Alright, so what did we head to? We head up there, huh? There we go, that's how we do it. Jeez, almost <laughs> losing healthy a little bit. Oh god. Oh no. Alright, well, I'm gonna follow him here. Let's go ahead and get out of here. <laughs> I'm just running for it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Where do I go? Okay, I'll go there. Out of range. Oh, no. Nope, nope, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, that sucked. Alright, so what do I do here, pal? Now we gotta get out of here somehow. So what's the best way of doing that? Oh, we go... Okay, we go on the other side. Oh, that's how we do it. Alright, then. And yeah, somehow we still get hurt by doing this. I guess we do tra have to travel a, a very different way that we're not used to. So I guess a falling damage is a thing. Let's go like this. Okay. So what do we go? I guess we just bash through this. We do. Okay, that this thing is terrifying. Okay, so we go around this. All right, so we don't... <laughs> okay, don't fly through the red stuff. The red stuff is bad. And don't touch it. Try not to get... Try to stay away as far away from it as possible. Because that's a bad thing, apparently. Can I just fly through there? I can. Nope, no mind. I end up stepping right into it. Or I'm gonna die here. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, that hurt. Oh god. <laughs> how do we how do we get past that? Because every single time I run to those things, I end up getting hurt. I'm just gonna go and just advance forward as much as I possibly can. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just keep doing this. This seems to work out for me better so, than anything else. So I'm gonna keep just going up and healing every single time I need to. There we go, that does it. What do we go now, friend? Go through the vines. All right. Running away from a giant behemoth is... It's exciting, but scary at the same time. So what I do... Oh, God. Maybe I travel across? Oh, God. Nope. Okay, clearly I missed something out. <laughs> I missed something here. I don't know what the hell to... Do I really have to start all over again? Oh, dude, that sucks. I don't want to do that. Do I go... What do, what do I go? Tell me, friend, what do I what do I go to? Do I just fly across like this? Nope, I don't fly across. Oh, maybe I fly down. Maybe I do that. <laughs> what, the, what the hell? I'm so lost here. 
I'm guessing I gotta glide. That's what I gotta do. I'm thinking that's what I gotta do here. And then as soon as I can, just use this to travel over. Okay, that somehow makes me go faster. I didn't even press anything. Oh, cut. Okay, that's how we do that. Can we travel across like this? John Ruka, oh god. So let's stay careful here. Let's not mess this up. I got this far. I cannot allow the game to just screw me over again. Okay, so... Great experience. Terrible, terrible directions. No, actually no direction whatsoever. At least you should have said, hey, glide across. Or something be like, quickly, glide, glide across or something. But no, nothing. You just kind of left me hanging there. Just act like an idiot dying over and over. <laughs> Could have been avoided. Overall, fun mechanic, lack of direction. As it hatches. I think not. The egg was stolen from me, and I just got it back. I'm not taking any chances with it. You still not trust me? With an item this important, I can't afford to trust anyone. Trust yourself. Your instincts brought you here for a reason. While you have the egg, every Mordrum alive will be after you. Get it to Tarir, and hurry. I'll go on ahead to inform the Exalted and make sure the city is ready to receive you. And we're finally done with this. Okay, cool. 